Okay, Tai Chi should not hurt your knees, and I want to go over two uh, corrections for knee alignment that will prevent Tai Chi from hurting your knees. These are the most common uh, misalignments in Tai Chi. So take a look here, like if you're looking at the opening moves of a Tai Chi form, we all do our forms a little bit different, of course, but essentially let's say you've already stepped out and you've, you've come up in whichever style you're in and you begin to turn, what happens is the knee will turn also. So you can see how my knee is torquing? And if my knee torques and my weight comes forward into the balls of my feet, then the, my knee will hurt through here. So the very first and simple correction is to keep the weight to your heels, okay? Now, actually that's not technically correct Tai Chi 100%, but it will stop your knees from hurting, okay? So on a beginner level, when you turn, don't let your knee turn, keep the knee out. This has to do with your hip flexibility, okay? And let the weight go more into your heels, but not so much that you're falling or that your feet are coming up. Okay, that's the first one, so I'll, I'll just demonstrate. If I turn, I don't let the knee turn. If I step and do my moves, I don't let the knee collapse when all my weight is on it. So this knee, don't let it do that because the pressure goes right underneath the kneecap. Make sure that you keep the knee stable over the foot which means you'll feel like your knees are opening. And then when you step, you keep feeling the knees opening feeling. So that when you come through, that you don't have the knee collapsed in, but you have the knee over the toe. Sometimes the knee will collapse in because you're squatting too low in a small stance. Maybe one thing is to make the stance bigger, but if your knees are hurting, it probably doesn't make sense to do so. Make the stance a little higher. So the first thing to experiment is weight to your heels.